Hi, Carl here for Pro V TV, and today we're looking at two new budget tripods from eImage. So this is the EGO4 tripod, which is a completely new design for eImage. And this is their previous GH03 head, which itself has been around for a while, but they now bundle it with these nice new solo legs from eImage, which makes a big difference. Now, both of these tripods come in at almost exactly the same price, at around the £200 mark. For exact up-to-date pricing, please take a look at the links in the description below. But they are essentially the same price. So I thought I'd make a video to talk you through the differences and help you decide which of these two tripods is right for you. So, the first big obvious difference is the legs. With the EGO4, you get traditional video style legs with a mid-level spreader, large locking knobs on the side for each section of the legs to adjust the height, and feet which can attach to a ground spreader or a dolly. Now this GHO3 normally comes with other legs like these, but here we're looking at this new bundle package which comes with the 760AT aluminium solo legs. Now the main reason to use solo legs like these is that they make it very easy to get the tripod down very low or up nice and high very quickly. Most people who have used both have a preference as to which style they prefer. For example, personally, I like using solo legs like these as I find they give me a bit more freedom, but it really does come down to your own personal preference. For the most part, they are very similar in performance, both of these style of legs, apart from how low down they can go. So the traditional legs on the EGO4 have a minimum height of 77.5 centimeters, but these solo legs will go down to 30 centimeters. So that's quite a big difference in your minimum height, which means you can get nice and close down to the floor with this tripod. You do miss out a little bit though, when it comes to your maximum height, with 170 centimeters here and only 141 centimeters here. There is a slightly a pricier version of these legs called the 761AT, which have the same minimum height, but goes all the way up to 177 centimeters. So if maximum height is important to you and you like these solo style legs, you might want to upgrade to those ones. So let's look now at the heads. Both the GH03 and the GH04 have a fixed friction setting. So you can't add or take away friction depending on the shot and the camera that you're using. Now this is one of the main reasons to step up to higher spec tripods like the GH06 for example. These also have fixed counterbalance settings so you can't fine tune them to your camera's exact weight. Now this is very common at tripods at this level, but the set fluid movement you get on these heads is actually one of the better systems I've seen on budget tripods like these, especially the newer GH04. For me, the GH04 is slightly easier to pan and tilt smoothly with than the GH03 is. There's also a bit of a difference in the payload, with four kilograms max on the GH03 and six kilograms on the GH04. So that really means that the O3 is for mirrorless cameras or small camcorders, whereas the O4 head can handle slightly bigger cameras like an FS5 or a C100 perhaps. Although if you're using that level of camera, again, I really do recommend stepping up to a better quality tripod so that you can get that counterbalance and friction control as that's really important. But it's good to know that the EGO4 can handle cameras like that if needed. They both take a Manfrotto style plate, which is useful, and they both have a quarter inch screw thread on the side for mounting accessories like monitors too. Personally, I think the O4 is the better head, but there's not really that much in it. So these are the two kits, the GH03 head with solar style 760AT legs, or the EGO4 complete system. If you're looking for an entry level simple video tripod, either of these would be a solid choice. I'm also though going to be taking a look at this channel on some tripods which are higher up in eImage's range, so keep an eye out for those videos. Because my advice is always really the same when you come to tripods at this level. I always recommend, if you can, to step up to a mid-range tripod so you can get those friction controls and that counterbalance. Tripods like the GH06 with solo legs from eImage, which is the VIT one I'm going to be looking at on this channel soon. They're well worth spending a bit extra money on when you compare them to these. But if you're on a very tight budget, you can't go wrong with either the EGO4 or the GHO3 with 760AT legs. Let me know which one of these two tripods you'd pick up in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.